Okay, hello my friend. Uh, tonight is just uh, preparing for the salt effect. And however, um, it's, it's up to the color of the uh, salt effect. And you know, uh, I just uh, decided to put the uh, very bright color to, to the salt effect. So, uh, first I just should do is just roughly very very uh, not formally uh, brewing with the very uh, dark color which is nearly close to the original three of it and you know just roughly um, paint as a little bit darker on the very dry surface uh, which helps the soft effect more are uh, nice. Uh, if I turn, if I put the white, very bright color on a bright color, on the bright color, uh, it doesn't show uh, so much. So I just at least I need to uh, put some dark color. Dark gray is fine. Just uh, try to make. A little bit dark, and as you know, the F14 Tomcat is quite dirty aircraft. So, uh, in this kind of um, dark color, will be more effective. Usually, I don't do this, but I think, um, especially for Tomcat, I should do the a little bit get dirty surface on it right and I think the whole section will should be like this but it's really up to you and this is the result uh, you can see a little bit dark right very lovely and very uh, not 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 paint too much, but at least you can see the a little bit dark color. And uh, this is uh, I think um, I think the first try for me. <laughs> so I I I'm not sure whether how it works or not because the, this is you know quite dirty weathered aircraft so. I just uh, uh, do uh, try to make um, nice effects, so I just uh, do some kind of techniques. So. And and this is quite dark, I think, because this is the original 306, and usually I put some white on it, but in this time I just using the original, nearly original. I think the 5% of the white and the 90% of the 306 character. Just, you know, try to make some difference. It's fine. And this is not washed yet, so, uh, no. I, I think... Uh, gonna be alright if you're doing so roughly just uh, preparing for the next thing so just you know try to make very random very very random and dirty surface so I can show you the result anyway so Just try to avoid the, uh, which I did uh, as a uh, Maskinzo effect. I just do the very uh, crap, nothing, no area. Try to make a uh, big difference. So I just do. I mean, 
I just put some more information to to surface to you know uh, get more uh, variety of gray color on it. Just like that. And this is quite uh, dry, and I I, I paint it. So I just uh, try to create the very random uh, pattern of the and I can I can also do this uh, after um, washing and you know after weathering effect which is uh, to use the uh, enamel of course but if I do in this time uh, which is pretty easy after the enamel so I'm just trying to uh, find the better way in there. so something like that and the main fuselage also you can do this the same and it has already had a masking go effect so I just try to avoid and if the gray color is so bright uh, you can put uh, a more basic 306 color and Try to make a uh, difference. very seems to see like you know the the touch touch up you know painting some sort of thing but actually I'm not pretty sure <laughs> If this seems get well or not, but let's just uh, try. I think I think that it's much better than before. I think if I do this, if it's not, um, maybe I can put some more dirt on using buyer uh, enamel paint. So it's just uh, testing, right? Okay. I think they're almost done. A little bit. Uh, I put uh, quite dark color. very up to after the washing the effect will uh, not show right now but I think the basic paint I think will be I think fine and I don't put so much um, salt effect on the fuselage mainly I put the uh, wing so I think um, Just fine. I just paint the other color a little bit. So um, I just uh, wanna try to put the salt effect. So 
una wing, so I think the trigger dog is pretty, pretty well, I think. Right. Okay, now is the test of the salt effect. So now I'm going to uh, prepare is I think uh, where about uh, first I need a war effect which is uh, I think similar to the uh, hair Hairy kid, not hairy kid. Um, it's it's uh, very um, sticky. And next, I need, of course, a salt, right? So the first, the warm effect, put into the. Uh, Airbrush. Uh, spray with the airbrush, which is very uh, thin. Uh, if you are uh, putting on, the so it's just a brush. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit. Sick, I think. So the warm effect uh, dry, get dry very fast. So at least um, once you brew it, you need to quickly put the salt, of course. If you are mixing with some water, uh, the, I think the liquid will get dry more slowly, but um, I should recommend you to use as much as you know, fast. So I just glue some particular part and just uh, using by a salt. And try to um, put and just brew the warm effect first, then just uh, put some salt. And you can do the same way as you till you satisfy, of course. So I just, I just can put some water because the paint get dry so quickly. So. I think the water is just fine. You can you can mix with the water. And the liquid will get dry more slowly. And because uh, this is the summer so the water, the liquid get dry so fast. At least you need a uh, you know uh, cleaner because the salt is you know brewing you know too much so, and you can not you can put the 
not the whole area uh, if you want uh, if you just the particular part is fine if you cover with the whole you know whole thing uh, the effects you have already done will be disappear easily so you just can do part by part it's pretty fun. and the point is don't to put the effect too much if you do that the the painting surface will be uh, much more weak will be so I think just fine time and next just part by part Of course you can uh, brew the whole area of course but you have to uh, make a point to brew the bright color after you do that because if you paint the whole cover area the effect will be more you know un 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 interesting so, so. You just have to wait to the um, drink it complete dry completely. So a little bit, a little bit, a little bit is fine. So I can I can say uh, you should do in this the small box if you want because the salt is growing so much around the table so uh, this is very small advice I think you need to uh, clean up. Okay. Now I can do this with the main wing. Do the airbrush with the one effect first. You don't you don't brew the whole area. You just brew the necessary part to be fine. And the wicket is good so far so you have to do very fast. I, mean, I think you can you need a little bit of uh, practice. Just uh, put a uh, little bit of time. Don't don't put the uh, many um, 
this off. You don't have to. Because I think the sword effect is a pretty simple small effect, so once you do the whole area, you need to have you know, more, much more uh, hairspray and uh, sword, of course. So, if you can see, at least the sword is fixing. Taking the salt and to wait, it get dry completely. <laughs> other wings and what you need is just speed you know you just you just brew and put the salt as much as you if you can I mean very speed is very important because it's so quick to dry so if you're doing a little bit slow the effect will not And the salt effect is pretty uh, annoying work. <laughs> it's not that not easy. Um, it's just uh, you need a little bit of experience, I think. Okay. Fixing the salt. Uh, see this? I think that's pretty fine, I think. Put this. And if you have some, uh, how do you say? Uh, if you have some, you know, uh, surface which has the pores, you have to, um, you know, make sure that to cover the pores because the after you washing by the water um, the water will come to inside so at least you need to cover at least which is like that covered right then you put the uh, salt as much as you can and put this is pretty messy work so you might better to do this with the box or I think. This Okay, so, so, so. She isn't handy. Prepare to put the salt as much as you can.
soul message. So at least uh, you can wash the airbrush with the hot water. It's, it's fine, you know. Um, to to clean clean your airbrush very well inside. If you not don't don't that don't do that. The airbrush inside will be you know um, very dirty. Get dirty. So okay. So now I'm doing with blue with the. A little bit bright gray color on it, and it's just inside of the sock is fine. Not through the whole area. It's just inside, inside, inside is fine. I hope it will get very well, but. I'm not sure. It's, it's, it's always, you know, tend to experience. So, just go inside, just go inside. Um, you don't, you don't, you don't have to glue so many times. You just really a little bit of time. If you glue the whole time, the effect that you have already done will, you know, not, not, not uh, gonna be a good result. So once you must with the salt, uh, which is. Very little, very little, so you shouldn't do that all the area to cover this. And if you're not satisfied, you can do try it again, which is, you know, very uh, annoying work rather. Okay, now the time to the take off the salt and um, using by the brush see, with the hot water it's fine not too hot but I think a little bit uh, hot is fine because the glue that I glue that airbrush will melt so easily so at the time the table will be very messy so we need uh, some kind of uh, cloth 
or something. How do I look? How does it look like? It's very interesting time. You can see a little bit. Um, so a little bit. Um, I should take it actually should uh, a little bit more but it's okay this is the first time. Okay, we change the easy to take off. The salt, of course. If you are using uh, hot water, it's very easy to take off. And after melt there airbrush perfectly I mean um, born effect just uh, easily wipe it off with some tissue from cloth or whatever because the surface is a little bit sticky so you need to take off very nicely then you can just see a little bit effect. And now what we do is the main wings. Try to get off so in this time I just uh, put the dark gray before I put the salt and uh, brew the right color if you want uh, if the surface is very bright you can brew that a little bit darker darker gray of course which is all up to you it's not it's not the uh, only one way you can try uh, many times anyway so it's, it's just a test so just a sample as you can tell Paint is see that you can see at least you can see the texture of the very uh, interesting surface, right? And if you don't want to, uh, you can put the salt again and brew that again. Uh, it's, it's all up to you. So this is the basically uh, my salt effect technique. So uh, if you have some other one, you can just you can try it. But I think um, one point that you should do is try to use the very small piece of the salt. If you uh, use the very big salt, of course the effect is more bigger than this one. Because my salt is pretty pretty small piece of salt. So at that time, um, it's, it's it seems to be more uh, natural, so like that. Okay, so as a result, uh, you can see the fuselage of the. Uh, it's very hard to see, but uh, at least you can see a uh, very salty <laughs> surface. And especially after doing the salt effect. What am I going to do next is uh, I just put uh, some um, enamel on it. I mean to to make sure that um, honeyline uh, paint, you know, paint a bra. to identify, you know. The other one is more clear to see, right? And wipe off is the animal center. And after I uh, do this, I just uh, coat it with the flat clear. Uh, maybe in this time you can put the decal on it, and after you put the flat uh, center. 
I mean, to not clear, right? Uh, this is uh, this one. To to do the other uh, weathering techniques. And uh, the first things that I should tell you is uh, the surface must be very flat. I mean, not glossy. Uh, to to create the more effective uh, weathering. So before you put the decal, if you put a very flat clear on it, it's very hard to you know stick the decal. So if you have a decal, you can just uh, um, put the first, and then uh, you can you know, paint it as coated with the. Brought to you. Okay. And I just uh, put in the panel line, but I should paint here as a red first. So, you know, after I paint the red or, you know, uh, formation right, I can just uh, put the panel line, or maybe you can try the washing. Uh, which is like uh, you just uh, paint it as you know a little surface on the wings and you know, it is washing so just to put some color on it and also it has a uh, effect this effect of the panel line so but if you don't put so much you have to, you know, you need to wipe it off so many times, so it's really up to you, but, uh, Before I paint this, I should paint the whole part of the room. So this is the wrong procedure, wrong process, so just in case, just in case. And the, you have you should mention about that um, the salt effect surface is a little bit weak. I mean, if you uh, put in some the masking tapes or whatever, I think that sometimes it uh, it can easily uh, take off. So it's very sensitive and very um, you you need to be uh, very great care of to you know uh, treat as the surface on the salt effect so you know just to mention just to mention about that so i think uh, this time is enough so see you next time